Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning back in to another DOY Creation 7 video. Welcome back, everyone. All right, guys, I got some stuff I want to share with you guys today. I am Jeanette, also known as Soraya. And you know, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. So let me just make sure my speaker is all the way on and up. And it wasn't, but now it is. All right, guys. So um, a lot of you guys are new to my channel. Welcome to DOY Creations. Now, I do have uh, a friend that owns a shop that carries a lot of my crochet wear. So what I do is, and what she does is, we exchange like seasonal pieces in her store. So right now I have all of my summer, spring and summer wear in her store. So everything that has not sold comes back home with me and then in return, I go ahead and give her my fall and winter items. So what we do is we try to put things on sale to see if that will help the merchandise to move. But if that doesn't work, I go ahead and bring those merchandise on back home and then back and forth. That's how we do it until everything sells out. So what I want to do is once I do sell out everything, I want to have a signature wear that I want to make. So that'll be just like a one type of item. Just say if I wanted to make only ponchos. So I will make ponchos for the summertime and ponchos for the wintertime. And so that would be my DOI collection in her store. But right now I have all type of things in her store. And I'm really glad to have more than one place to sell my items. I sell them myself when I'm posting on all my social media. I also sell it on uh, in my Etsy shop. And then I do have that store. So you do need more than one outlet to sell your merchandise, especially if you crochet as much as I crochet and I crochet a lot of wear. So it's not like just hats and scarves. It's a lot of clothing as well. So I'm getting ready to share with you guys um, this segment. It's going to be three segments. I broke it up and three segment. So this is the first segment. And then the next day I'll show the second and the third. I didn't want to do it all in one take because it'll make the video a little bit long. So I decided to just break it up and three segment. Y'all ready? All right. If you're new, this will be new to you. If you're my oldies, you see a lot of these items. So on yesterday, you guys seen the uh, this poncho right here that I had created. If you didn't see that video, I'll either leave it in the I card or I always leave certain videos at the end of my video. So this is the first one, uh, the, the newest one that will be going into her shop. So there you have it. I'll leave that video at the end of this one. The second one is this one. Now, this first segment is called uh, all ponchos, okay? So this is the second one that I'll be taking to her shop. What I did was I cut the I cut the fringes shorter. They was a little bit longer. I really wasn't feeling them being as long as they were. So I decided to cut them down. Now, this poncho right here, guys, is anywhere from a small to a large. I use um big twist and tour course white and mainstay and gold and mainstay they do come with a pair of earrings the earring comes with the set so if you um interested in this poncho let me know leave it in the comments but the earrings will come with the poncho so anyway this one is anywhere from a small to a large now this one here is done with red heart yarn um, in the color debris, debris owls. I believe that's the color wave it was. I did add the fringes. I cut the fringes down lower. They was much longer. I'm not a real big fan of, I know how to do fringes. I'm not a real big fan of them, but I didn't like them being as long. So all I did was shorten them up. And I think the shorter, if you really don't know how to do fringes all that great, I think the shorter they are, for me, it looks a lot better than if you have them long, 
they look they tend to look a little bit too stringy because a lot of fringes you need to have thick fringes so this is the second one like i said it is done using red heart yarn debris owls this one is anywhere this is a one size so it's anywhere from a small to an xl okay loved it once i narrowed it down so that is the second one that's going right into her store. The third one is this one right here, guys. This is a plus size one. This one is anywhere from XL to like 3X. I made this ex uh, extremely large because I wanted to give versity, uh, uh, versility. How do you say it? I want to be versatile, okay, with sizes. You got to get it politically correct. So I made this one here um, in a larger size for my plus size girls. Okay, this one is done using Red Heart yarn as well. I do not know what the colorway is, but it is a beautiful blue and aqua color. It reminds you something like the sky. So that is done in plus size. This one is available also on or in my Etsy shop. So that's going to be the third one that goes into the store. The fourth one is going to be this one here. Really love this one here. Had so much fun making this one. This one is also done using the red heart yarn and the variegated. Um, this one, I love it because I added shell stitches as the border. And I also added a drawstring. Um, to bring it in, if you don't want it to be as open, you have that flexibility to bring it in. But I love this. This is so fall and so winter with your nice high boots or even if you wear low cut boots. I just thought this was just a beautiful color to play around. I like what I like about this color right here. Also, I think it's year. You can wear it all year long. Um, because I'm all about that. Wear what you want to wear. But this color is one of those fun colors where you can wear it all year long. Um, I know this is in Red Heart Yarn, the variegated stripes, but I don't know exactly which one it is. But it does has a nice drawstring. This one is a one size as well. So anywhere from a small to an XL. Usually when someone says one size fit most, it's anywhere from a small to an XL. So there's another one. This one here will be going in the shop as well. This one is used, and this is in the small. This is in homespun yarn, um, which is soft and it's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the shop. Again, this one is in small using homespun yarn and pink. And then right around the border, I wanted to give it a border. So I uh, single crocheted about two rows in Red Heart Yarn Fruitia Pink. Okay. Now, this one here, when I made this one here, this poncho right here is the virus shawl. And all I basically did was made two virus shawls and put them together and made it into a poncho. I was so obsessed with making virus shawls. I could not stop making them. Uh, I love making virus shawls and that's what I did. So this one here, right here is in, I know this is the Lion Brand Boutique. This is in Boutique or is it another name? I'm not for sure exactly what name this is, but it is in... Uh, um, lion brand yarn and because i only had like two or two skins of this one here i pulled the color right here and bought a skin of yarn like this one right here and i have it as you can wear it on this side right here this is in like a small or you can wear it on this side right here because it's just the virus shawl pattern connected Okay, size small. Okay, so here's one that I have in all cotton. Really enjoy uh, making this one right here. 
I was playing around with a lot of cotton and again, obsessed with working, doing the virus shawl. Once I learned, because with the virus shawl, I, uh, it, can, it can be a little intimidating, but once you get the hang of it, it is so easy to make. Um, so I had some cotton and I just went crazy with it. I made two panels, put them together, and I made this virus shawl poncho. I made it with a nice long drawstring. You don't need it. You don't have to. Uh, I got this thing with drawstrings. So you'll see quite a few of my tops with drawstrings. But anyway, this is in a size small, medium, all cotton. And for me, I think you can wear cotton all season long or all year long. But whatever floats your boat, there you have it. Just took all the cotton that I had and created this uh this poncho here okay another poncho that i made is this one right here this is in the red heart yarn this is variegated it, it's in brown and it's in teal now this one here when i was doing when i was making or creating this poncho right here i did follow yolanda lopez a soto pattern so that is who i watched to create this here and it said brown and teal. You have seen me wear things like this. You have seen Z from Zelda in our J3 wear things like this. And we use uh, Yolanda Lopez Soto pattern. I change things up. I like to make things into my own. And that's how I got to the off the shoulder poncho. But there's another one. And last with but definitely not least, is this lovely poncho right here. This one also is in red heart yarn, 100% acrylic. Um, like I say, I don't have any of the labels or the ball bands with me. But if you look at the color, it's like a, a berry punch. I believe it's in like berry punch. They have so many. When you go to the stripes, all of these are in the stripes um, section. So this is a top that I made, this poncho right here. I love how the back is. This is a pattern from Hectagona One here on the YT. It has a, not a large collar, but a or turtleneck if you want to use that. Um, I follow her pattern to the T. I like how it, it has like a short portion right here and then it drapes down in the back. I really love that. And also in the back, I love this um, mosaic or I don't know exactly what she called this pattern right here, but I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Okay. Wear that over a nice dress. Wear that over a nice skirt. And you are good to go. All right, so for this section right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items on my poncho uh, style that is getting ready to head, including this one here, head into my uh, friend's shop. But if you guys see anything that you like right here, okay, I know majority of us are all crocheters. And we could all make these ourselves. But if I have someone that just don't feel like crocheting or you do want to have some DOY wear, please leave it in the comments below. I always leave my uh, email address and I also always leave my website in case you want to check it out. Not everything is on the website. I think anything that's on the website is probably this blue one right here. I believe probably just this, this one right here, probably on my website. I have to double check as well. So these nine items is getting ready to head on to her shop. Wish me luck that all of it sells. And I'll be back to you guys to show you part two, because it's a three-part series. I'll be back to show you part two of the series and see what else I'm getting ready to put into my friend's shop. But I wanted to make sure I did a video first to share that with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, even if you didn't, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I need the thumbs up. Please make sure you leave a comment below. Okay. 
leave a comment below. I would appreciate that so, so very much. And if you have not already subscribed, please take a second out. Click on that subscribe button. It should be somewhere at the bottom. And make sure you click your bell to all. All said it. You want to see all the videos. All, okay? All right, guys. That is all I want to share with you guys in this part one. And I'll be back to show you part two on tomorrow. Until next video, always remember y'all Psalm 68.4 in your King James Version. Always keep your life and your health in check while I'm over here getting ready to grab the closing out. All right. Until next video, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.